going to show you now how to calibrate the connectivity on a 1575E controller. Uh, as you approach the controller, you should have no alarm conditions, and you should have nothing appearing in the middle line here, which would indicate an alarm fault. The flashing bar will give you an indication if you do have an alarm. If there is any sort of probe condition or alarm condition, you should not complete calibration until that item is cleared up. All right, so you're looking at the calibration of the controller, the current reading of the controller, and it says 2010. You've tested the water in the cooling tower with your handheld meter, and it's actually 1900. So you think that's a little bit too far off, so we need to calibrate now. It's a simple procedure with flow going through the control system or through the plumbing so you get an accurate reading of the water, a current reading of the water, you would go ahead and hit the pro button and enter the new value, 1900, and then press enter. It says the calibration is now complete. Now what you want to do then is go ahead and monitor that, cal that reading for a few minutes and see if it's wandering around. And in the next day or so I would come back and back check it again. If the calibration doesn't seem to hold, you can call Lakewood Instruments and we can run you through a few of the troubleshooting procedures and they're relatively simple and, and give you some uh, uh, places to look at in the system that may cause the, the reading to wander uh, because typically the, the instrument's really solid as far as the calibration and holding the calibration and it's a system issue uh, that causes the wandering. Now the next thing I'd like to show you is how to manually operate relays. Operating relays is relatively simple. From the main menu, you press the enter key and you get a secondary menu that shows you each of the relays. Now you can press the number of the relay and they will activate. If I walked away right now, those timers would run for the time showing, counting down from five minutes to zero and then they would shut off. So the maximum time someone can accidentally leave a relay turned on is five minutes. You will have to come back to it if you need it longer, turned on longer than that you have to come back to it and press the button every five minutes. Now the manual relay uh, function will work and power these relays if the flow is disabled. So when you're the human being, you're in charge, and when you tell it to turn that relay on, if there is power applied, it will turn that relay on. Now to clear one, if it's already running, or if one was operating and you wanted to temporarily turn it off from it, you go ahead and press it and the, 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 it changes state and the timer still appears. So in this case we're going to go ahead and turn them off. So again, if one of them was currently operating as an example, relay one was on, that timer wouldn't be there. But once I pressed one to change the state, the timer would appear to show you the amount of time left before it turns it back on. So this is actually a change of state menu. And that's how you program the relays. Thank you.